Hello and welcome to the next scary of my tutorial. Uh, this time it will be about vector thrusters, and we are on SB Forlorn. So, uh, pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to make a homing missile this time. So, what you want to do is you want to get a prop that's sort of missile-like. You could use an actual missile, but I'm not going to because I don't want to use an actual missile because they blow up, and I would like to use my missile more than once. So, not going to use a missile. So pretty much you need only a couple things. One thing you need is a target finder, put this near the middle. Uh, I have my settings like this, it's maximum range 10,000, minimum range 1, maximum targets 1, maximum bogeys 1, uh, and only on target NPCs and paint target. Um, I'm going to spawn an NPC over here for a target. That is Father Grigori because he's on the front page. And now, I'm going to get my beacon sensor. And I'm going to link this to the target finder. By the way, to link it, you right-click, and then you right-click on the target finder. Now you need a GPS, and you need three arithmetic subtraction gates. So put one, two, and three. Finally, you need the thing that makes it all work, which is the vector thruster. You put this on the front, and click it again. I like to weld these on, because sometimes I found they do not stay on. And that is the construction portion. It's pretty quick and easy, but uh, most of the work is involved in actually doing the wiring. Even that's not that difficult. By the way, you don't actually have to wire the target thing. It'll work either way if you just link it, but an alternative to linking would be wiring it. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, you want to wire the A of these to the GPS. So the A of the first one to X, the A of the second one to Y, and the A of the third one to Z. Now you want to wire the B of these to the world X of the beacon sensor, and to world Y of the beacon sensor, and finally to the world Z of the beacon sensor. Now you wire the X to the first one, Y to the second one, and Z to the third one. And now I'm going to uh, get rid of gravity on this. Oh, and the little bigger parts of it. And now, it flies towards the person. Yep. Also, another thing you can do is you can, um, you know, you can wire the multiplier thing of this to the target finder. Like that. So it's only on when there's actually a target, which is kind of a nice thing. And pretty much, yeah, it's not the most accurate of missiles ever, but it will, you know, kill NPCs pretty much very reliably. Um, and that's the basics of it. It will, that, that works. I mean, there's not much to it. It's pretty simple. Um, you can spawn, like, an entire field of NPCs, and it could take them all out in, like, one run, like that. Um, it's a very useful thing to be able to do, because this kind of technology, and by technology, it's not really that complicated, but anyway, um, with this you can, like, make homing missiles, like this one. Um, the only problem is if your target is down there, then it just tries to run into the ground repeatedly, and that usually doesn't go very well. I mean, you can always, you know, chuck it out the side and it'll go home, home, and like it's supposed to. But yeah, it's probably better if you don't have to do that. Stop. And yep, that's pretty much it for this one. It's pretty quick. It's a pretty easy topic. There's not much to say about it. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.